Hello and welcome to Fear, an Energy Guide. The very title of this audio recording is one of those titles that I'm aware will bring all sorts of reactions in people. Even the word fear can make us afraid. Fear is very intrinsic in our human society. And what many therapists, scientists, healers will talk about is that whenever you're dealing with any issue in your life that you're stuck on or challenged by, fear is often a part of it. You will have heard the phrase, will you choose fear or will you choose love? It echoes around our world from many different voices in many different ways. And it's true that the energy scale can be seen this way. You can see fear as the lowest paradigm and love as the highest or the most open paradigm. Of course, it's always more complicated than a one-line sentence for a few reasons. The world is very multidimensional and there is a lot going on on the planet and the universe has many experiences to offer us. Secondly, we're individuals. So even though we are connected and we all share in the energy of fear, we may interpret fear differently or we may have specific experiences in our past or our present that make us react to fear in a way that's different to the person standing next to us. The power of our energy is immense. We as energy systems can do and create so much on the planet in our lifetime. Yet when fear becomes the dominant energy, or in a moment of your experience becomes the dominant energy, you will recoil, step back, shrink back, or want to run. What I'm inviting you to do in this recording, throughout this recording, is to investigate that response. You may not be able to solve that response overnight. Your past trauma may take a year or two to kind of work through, and this is as I see it, a healthy thing, because trauma is something that has been embedded in you. So if you do need to take a full year to help your body release its trauma, that's you loving yourself and healing yourself. So don't get down on yourself about how long these things take. More celebrate yourself for walking towards them, because many people leave their fears uninvestigated. Many people choose to Mm, have responses that will help them avoid what they fear, help them circumnavigate what they fear, but the problem is fear as an energy, if it becomes dominant in your life or more dominant than is appropriate for your life balance, starts to show up destructively or limit what's possible for you in life. So in inviting you to see beyond the fear of your own mm, circumstances or soul history, you also invite yourself to allow the world to be free of fear at new levels. Hmm. Fear is an illusion. This is a sentence many of you are familiar with. You will have heard it before. But it is not an illusion to your mind when your mind is convincing you it is the truth. The mind takes this energy of fear and tries to outthink or outwit the fear that is rising in you because there is a hesitation in your body as to whether or not you can move through this energy experience you are having. To have fear as a human being is to be sensing opportunity. You are sensing an opportunity at a soul level for a breakthrough in experience as a human being. The human that has had its heart broken or its finger cut when it has fallen over is reluctant to go through these almighty shakedowns of the human identity. But you see, as much as many of you believe you are controlling your lives from your mind's capacity to progress, it is the opposite way round. The mind is simply reporting back to you and responding as to what is occurring energetically all of the time. The mind is always on a few second delay. Think satellite conversations between countries on your planet. 
you are often a few seconds delayed because of the time it takes to both send the information and for you to receive it in your time. So understand it is the same here where fear is concerned. Take a moment to think of something you would greatly desire in your life, but it seems like a challenging desire. It seems unattainable to you, or perhaps not unattainable, but it might take some time or some energy to create this circumstance or event you are seeing. See if you can find the fear in this event you are unsure you could make manifest or unsure you could make manifest with ease for there is fear there there is fear in the energy of that focus so even and often especially in areas that you are trying to move forward with and have openings in your life around there will be fear as you start to march toward the reason so many people cannot manifest what they are trying to manifest is they do not stay aware of their energy once they have made an intention. They do not see how there are certain choices they get given on a given day that can open or close them down. This is important to know. So this desire you are focusing on, this mm, energy you wish to bring into your life, what is it that this is going to bring to you or give to you? Now you have identified what it could bring to you or give to you. Now again look at the fear and understand that there is a fear of being brought that in your life. And recognize, as simple as it is, as has been established in this recording, just go into your body, breathe your way through it, it can be very quick for those of you who are already awake and used to moving energy. Those of you who are new to this, if you are having emotional reactions, do not be alarmed. It is just that the body is being given an opening to clear something that it is not usually able to clear. And it will need to do this over and over again. So some of you may wish to focus your energy on this exercise regularly until the tears stop and the smiling begins and the spaciousness and the calm and the joy starts to come into you. <laughs> 